Carl, first and foremost, talk to us about the FA Cup. What does the FA Cup mean to you personally? Um, yeah, um, I mean, I'm not, I'm not naive to the fact that without it, I probably wouldn't be here. Um, you know, as we had a good run last year with my last club, which is Dorford. Um, and obviously it gave me the publicity, which was a big thing in non-league. Um, so I'm very fond of it and I just love cup games anyway. Um, and I'd love to I'd love to have a great run in, in the FA Cup this year. Going back to your time at Bishop Stortford, I mean, that, that run that you did have in the FA Cup last season, uh, as, a, as a group of players, non-league players, how important did you find it as a group, the FA Cup, to, to do well in that competition? Yeah, it's, and it's, it's not like, like we, and the thing is we didn't have any incentives, like a lot of clubs have incentives to do well, financial incentives, bonus, whatever, we didn't have none of that. We just done it because we, we wanted to have a good run and we wanted success really. And, and to be fair, we got that, even though we only got to the first round, but for the team we were, we had to play four matches before that, won all of them and got to the first round. And it was a lovely day out um, and, and it's, it's there, there I'll, I'll always remember that day. Um, and now I just want to make their memories of Peter. Do you have uh, the sort of thoughts in your head whilst you're playing at that level and in that competition that you know you could get noticed? This could be a time, an occasion to get noticed. Yeah, if you look back at like, well, I, I always my old manager used to tell me about DJ Campbell and, and he done it when he was at Hazen and, and then he got picked up by Brentford. Um, and this, it's, it happens, you know. It's no people know you can't be naive to the fact they don't happen. Um, and and I knew, I knew playing well, um, good a good team. Do you know what I mean? Because at the same time, if we'd have got the first round, but only had another non-league team, might not might not have been the way it is now. But we had a good draw. You know, I had a League Two team, and it was, it was on TV and everything. And it was a, it was just a great occasion. And of course, that helped public publicise my profile and and the, and the club as well. Not just me; it was a club that got a lot of publicity and other players as well. Um, and it was good. It was, it was really good for the for the club, to be fair. Well, we'll go back to the qualifying rounds of, uh, of of that season. I think it was the the second round, wasn't it? Where you, it was a, a five 0 win over Hendon, and you scored four goals in seventeen minutes. So you must have, uh, you know, did, did you go into that game on form, or was it just one of those games no. where it just all clicked? No, I won. I won, and I won necessarily in form at all. I remember. That was, I think that was the seventh, eighth game of the season. That I only scored three goals. I scored the game before, but. But we just went there, and, and and this is the thing as well: is that you have to show teams below. There's only one league below us. Um, weren't doing too badly either. They were they were up there at the time. Um, you have to show them. You have to show respect. Uh, we did that, um, and we went there. And I remember we went, and yeah, I had a good game. Um, more importantly, we got through. Um, but yeah, I had a good game. I enjoyed the game a lot, um, and and I think that's more important than anything really. You then continued that with the third round against uh, Chipstead, 6-1 win, hat-trick. Yeah, same again, same again, you know, we went there, we showed them respect, and not enough, for, not, not, not too much respect that we let them get too into the game. I remember that game well as well. Um, yeah, I'm delighted I scored, scored a hat-trick again, but um, it's just, I, I'll always believe in myself, you know, I, do, I wish I could score hat-tricks every week, but it's never going to happen, but, um, but when they do come along, you know, I cherish them. He then drew uh, Forest Green, and you know that was a bit of a you know they, they were a big they're a big club aren't they? Forest yeah, Green. in non in, in non league and at, at that well at that time they were struggling. We called them in the best time. Um, there, I think our manager then told us that our all of our wage packets put together weren't even what their top owner was taking home. So if you put it in that respect, and that's only one league difference, put it like that, then you can understand how big a scout that was for us at the time, and how much confidence that gave us to take back into the league and whatever. But that was a big game. Um, yeah, it was a really big game. So that was a great day out as well, away at Forest Green. Lovely stadium. At that time, I hadn't played at many good stadiums. Obviously, now I've been in League One, I've played at loads of lovely stadiums. But back then, that was one of the biggest I've played in. Um, it was a big day out, massive day out. Um, we, we won and, and we enjoyed the, the coach turning home. Did you think you were going to win it going into yeah. the, Obviously, yeah. you know, everyone would say We did. No, we did. We did. And, and even we went into Northampton and was going to win that as well. Um, but no, we. No, we did, we did, we just sang, we knew, and I think our, our chairman said something like, Hendon, Chipstead, and Forest, they were, they were all green kits. 
and was just saying about green kits at that time, we were just beating everyone with green kit. It's even I'm, I'm not superstitious at all, and I didn't I didn't really take the notice of it. But he said it after, and the, the guy really was, and he said that, and, and obviously it, it turned out to be true. Going into that Northampton game, that was around the, well, that was the that was your last game for the club, wasn't it? And it was uh, televised, and that was the time obviously you were going to be leaving to come to to Posh. Yeah. Was it the the game prior to that? Um, Forest Green that you knew about the interest of Posh or was it in between the two? Um, no, it was in between. No one. I didn't. There's nothing. There's nothing really. Then I'm, I'm, and that's what I said. Like there'd been obviously rumours and, and interviews and papers and things, but I just put it all to one side. I didn't look at any of it. Didn't take any interest in any of it. Um, but it was on. I think it's a week. The week. The week run up to that Northampton game that um, manager rung me and said, "Listen, not people are interested." Um, go out and do your stuff and, and then you won't be here much longer. Um, and then obviously it worked out for me. But it was very late, like very late coming up to that game that I, I found out and, and I knew anything was happening. I mean as a, as a non-league player, I mean obviously you know your aim is to, to make it into the Football League, you know, higher eventually, but to get it, to get that next step. When you found out that Posh were interested in you, I mean, how much pressure did you feel you were under for that game, given it was televised as well? No, no not a great deal. Not a great deal. I, 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 I think I'm quite good at managing pressure and things like that, and I don't let it get on top of me, don't let it get too much for me. And I just went out there the same way, just, just to enjoy the game. I played all right, but then got a dead leg. It's unfortunate. Um, and, then, and then, yeah, we, we didn't win the game. Um, I still wanted the team to win the game, and what I, I wanted to do well. And, Whatever, but it's, 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 it's football. You're not always going to work out like that. But um, yeah, it was it was fine. I didn't I didn't think I had to do anything special, anything spectacular. I just went out there just play the, the the same reason why people were interested in me. I wanted to just keep that going and do what I was doing before, and hopefully get a goal. I didn't. I, I, in the end, I didn't. But no, it's, it's, you've got to just take games as they come. Now you've been out for a little while with uh, an injury. You're now coming back in. The the gap has sort of mentioned that you know you could be fit for uh, for this game. Saturday in the FA Cup once again. Mm. Are, are you fit? Are you back training now? Yeah, I started training yesterday. Yeah, um, it's up to the gaffer whether he wants me to be fit for Saturday. Um, I feel good. I'll always say I feel good even if I don't feel good, but I do feel good. Um, and and it, and it's up to the gaffer. Yeah, what he does. How how difficult was it for you to pick up that injury? I mean, you were on fine form. You know, you, it's your first full season at the club. You know, good chance for you to get your feet under the table with Britt leaving, and you seem to do that really well. You were, I think, top scorer with five goals at the time. Uh, then you pick up the injury. I mean, football could be cruel at times, can't it? Yeah, that's, that's football. Though. You know, it's, it's, it's always the way. It's, it's not. It's, it's bigger than that. It's life in general. There's always setbacks in life, and it's just how you react to them. And I've, I've, I feel, I feel like I've gone away and I've gotten stronger. Um, definitely, I've gotten fitter, and I think that I'm not a million miles away. So when I get back, put back in and when I start getting back into the team, then it will come back again, and hopefully I can carry on where I left off. How frustrating has it been sitting on the sidelines? Oh um, yeah, yeah, yeah. I might even need to get into it, but yeah, it's the, it's the worst thing. Like last season, when I come in and I weren't really playing due to not in, not injuries, due to lack of experience, or maybe I wasn't even good enough. Um, and this season, this season I've been involved and I've been there and I've been playing most of the games, and then coming out, yeah, that's that's tough. And obviously, you know. This season, I mean, you don't have to go through the qualifying rounds now in the in the FA Cup. You're straight into the first round proper. Um, how important is it from your point of view that you know the club do well in this competition this year? Well, it's it's the same it's the same sort of thing. So when I was in non-league, you had the you had the three preliminary rounds. I see round one two as preliminary rounds to get to round three to get a big team. You know, who don't want Manuel Old Trafford? Who don't want Chelsea Stamford Bridge? So same way that when I was in non-league, we wanted. A, a League Two team. That's all we wanted. It was any League Two team at anywhere, don't matter where we played. But here you can get a Premier League team at their own ground, playing in front of 30, 40,000. Who, who wouldn't want that? Yeah, I mean, for, as, from fans' point of view, that's what fans want, isn't it? And and that's very much what players want as well, isn't it? I mean, yeah, what a what a great opportunity to be drawn at say Man United, go to Old Trafford and and, and try and do Man United on their own turf. Of course. Uh, and and then and then and then you say well, what we said about about coming from non-league and FA Cup for players and it works the same way as, as the lower football league to go up to the thing. Look at, look at uh, Jermaine Beckford, you know, that, that day out when he was at Leeds at Man U, scored and then he has gone. So it works, it works the same way. But, um, but no, I definitely want to have a good run this season. And finally, how, how do you feel you've come on now personally from 
being a non-league player last season to now being you know a, a regular League One player, how do you feel you've come on in your in, in your development and how how much are you enjoying time at Peter United? Yeah, yeah, yeah. The ga- I think I've, I think I've got a I've got to give a massive thanks to the gaffer. He's he's brought me on. Just changed changed my outlook on the game and and just just settled me down a little bit. You know, I was a bit er- erratic was the word. Um, but now I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit more composed, and he's brought a lot of things into my game that I couldn't do before, that I didn't even think about doing before. Um, so, yeah, I, I must say he's made me a much better player, and I know I know I'm going to turn times better player than I am now. So, so I've got plenty of time and, and a lot more improving to do, and hopefully I can um, go and score some more goals. Being a striker is a difficult position, isn't it? Because obviously, you know, if you if you if you Miss a if you if you miss a goal if you uh, miss an, an easy shot whatever it's very I, I imagine it's very easy to put your head down and, and keep thinking about that but it's not is it it's about you know it, it, you're in that position in the first place you have got to think that positive and then you just got to think well the next one to go in yeah that's it yeah it's um it's very much you know you need it's to a balance just, isn't it? there's a, exactly that you need to believe in yourself as well so you miss one I remember last season Port Vale last game of the season as I I didn't have any time to to, to Make it better. I missed the missed the sitter, and that was the last game of the season for me. So I could, there's nothing I could do about it, and I dwelt on that most of the summer. But um, but no, I come back and and when you miss a chance, you know, you have to, yeah, you have your five seconds. You're annoyed because you want to score, but then you let it go, and then on to your next chance, you know, if you can score it. Um, so yeah, it's, it's it's more it's more about man, like managing yourself because some people need to need to think about it. So next one they know they're concentrated, but some people just forget about it and go on to the next one. So it's, it's each their own.